In this short video, I'll be taking you through how to answer photo interpretation related questions for the Cambridge IGCSE Geography exam. In particular, in this short video, I'll be taking you through the questions that you would tend to see when it comes to answering theme 2.1 earthquake and volcano questions. So what does the syllabus say about photo interpretations? You need to be able to give simple descriptions of human and physical landscapes and geographical phenomena from photographs, aerial photographs, satellite images, and GIS. So what I would tend to do is give you a breakdown of example questions, uh, some common points to consider when looking at a photograph before you answer, give you some example exam responses, and an, an additional question for you to practice. So remember, these described questions, the number of marks in the question refers to the number of unique observations, features, points that need to be made. So if we look at an example here, what type of volcano is this? Well, for this, you need to understand what the different types are, what the different types of volcanoes are and what their key features are. So for this, it's not a shield volcano because shield volcanoes cover a wide area, generally are quite low in height, whereas a stratovolcano has very steep sides and it's tall in height. And it's also active, because again, this question is two marks, because you can see some lava and some smoke rising. Now, when it comes to describing the features of a volcano, you need to identify first that any volcanic features, how do I know it's a volcano? And these are the things that you should be able to see. You might want to also consider some other features, for example, is it vegetated, snow, is it a populated area? Is there bare rock? Are there other uses as well, such as has it been used for farming? So if we were to take this, we can see there's a crater in main vents. There's some lava and smoke rising. But then if we look at the relief of the volcano, we can also see if it's particularly high or low. The steep size, gentle slides. What's the top of the volcano like versus the bottom? Is it conical in shape? And so when we look at that, we can see that there's certainly a steep top and a gentler base and definitely conical in shape. Most stratovolcanoes are. So if we go back to this question, remember the number of marks indicate the number of points, unique points you need to make because it's a described question. So you could write something like the volcano is conical with steep sides. At the top of the volcano, there is a crater with lava and smoke rising from it. And so if we check the mark scheme, you can see that I've gone above and beyond what needs to be written but I've made sure there's enough points for me to get all three marks. So here's a practice question. What I'm going to do is leave it on your screen. And so you can have a go, pause the video, have a go at answering it, play the video. And so you can um, check to see how well you did. Remember, if you want to rewind the video back to how to the key points, the general points you need to consider before answering these questions. So here's the question. I would like you to pause the video now, have a go at answering. If you need to, rewind and then um, continue for the rest of the video. Thank you for watching.